Hello everyone, this is a video on shading a pansy a petal using graphite powder. So this is a photograph that this little demonstration is taken from. Um, so you can see the layers and the depth of tone that we need. It's a reasonably big scale this drawing, so I've decided I'm going to use some graphite powder in combination with graphite pencils. Um, you don't need to use graphite powder to do this, you could just do the whole thing in pencil. Um, but this particular drawing was a really big scale, the original, and I wanted to use uh, powder because it's a lot, lot quicker. So essentially to start with, I've drawn out um, the pansy petal shape. Um, you can't go in and get fine detail with graphite powder uh, because you're using a brush. So um, you need to use your pencils to try and get some sort of definition um, between the different pencils. So here I've already done a background and you can see that's quite dark. So I have actually used a 3B in that background. And on here I am using uh, HB to do this. Now this is graduating. This is where I am putting an edge on the side of that petal rather than a line. I've obviously had to draw a line to start to draw it out but what I want to see is just a very fine edge. I don't want to see a cartoon line. So that's all control with your pencil. Um, using my pressure to graduate my tones out with the HB. So look how many times I'm going back over this. So I'm going back in and pressing and trying to get my pressure right. This is the other petal um, in front of the middle petal. So I'm doing the same thing here, same pencil. And here I'm just starting to use a tortolan just to sort of blur out the edge because I'm actually going to use graphite powder over the top of that. So the tortolan, having done the graduation, will blend out and make it smooth. Now I'm using a flat brush, sorry, no, filbert brush. And I'm dipping the end of the graphite of the um, brush into a small bit of graphite powder that I have decanted into the lid. And I can't stress that enough. Don't dip your brush directly into your tub of graphite powder because all that will happen is you'll get too much on the surface and it will just fall off. Really important when you're applying graphite powder, you need to do it slowly and very, very gradually. Here I'm using a cotton wool pad um, to just brush off any excess, but you can also use a graphite uh, um, cotton wool pad to just really, really push into the surface and fix the graphite powder. Okay, so I'm brushing it on, a bit like painting. And I'm going in the direction up and down in the pattern that's actually on the petals. Now you can use a variety of different brushes for this. I would suggest you don't use anything too small if you're trying to use to cover a biggish area because it will just take you too long um, to try and select the size of brush that's suitable to what you're doing. If you're covering a big area, then use the biggest brush you've got. If you're trying to do a bit of detail, then use a flat brush um, or a rounded brush, perhaps, if you want to get into detail or use a filbert like I'm using there. But the most important thing to remember is that the brushes you, that you use need to be nylon brushes. Um, because they are so smooth. So they will apply onto the surface in a very smooth fashion, which is what you want with graphite powder. So I'm just building up, building up really, really slowly. And I'm actually leaving some of those lines on there just because it looks like the pattern that's actually on the petal. The thing with powder, I think, 
um, particularly if you're used to using pencils, is it's um, trying to get used to a using graphite in powder form um, and don't expect it to be perfect first time. Try it on a separate sheet, um, experiment with it. Um, don't try and force it to do things that it doesn't want to do. It's not going to be, you're not going to be able to use it like a pencil. You're not going to have the same control, but you can cover a bigger area in a quick way. And then you can work back in with your pencils on the top because it's all graphite. So you can mix and match. You can put a layer of graphite powder on, you can put your pencils, you can then reapply a layer of graphite powder. Okay, so having applied your graphite powder base, um, and if you hadn't put enough, you could I could still be doing what I'm doing now, which is adding the detail with my pencil. Um, I could then go back and reapply another layer or several layers if I wanted to. You can do that as many times as you want until you get the desired effect, essentially. The only thing to remember with the powder is that, um, well, Obviously, it doesn't get the detail that you would get if you're using a pencil like I'm doing here. And this, by the way, is a B. And I'm graduating again with that B out onto the petal. And now I'm adding detail. Um, if you were to use um, the powder to do detail, it's not, it's not going to do it. Um, so you need your pencils to be able to do that. This is a pointed tip eraser, Tombow Mono pointed tip eraser, which is really, really good for tidying up areas and taking out areas. Yeah, your powder um, won't actually go really, really dark. Um, you'd have to you'd be there for quite some time trying to get a really really dark tone like the background I've got there with graphite powder alone so you need to use your pencils just to build up depth so you can either do that after um, as I'm doing here when you're adding your detail or you can do it before or you can do both it really doesn't matter the main thing is that you're trying to get a photorealistic effect by using graphite powder and pencils together in combination. And now I'm just building up tone and I'm trying to get that edge of the petal to remain white so it just stands out. So that was a pointed tip eraser I'm using there. Now I'm just adding detail with the pencil. This is now an H and I'm going just adding a little bit of texture. Now, this is a putty eraser, a Mayped putty eraser. Um, and not all putty erasers are the same. Don't use the white ones. Try and avoid them if you can, because we found that they tend to take up graphite onto themselves and then deposit onto your work and make a bit of a mess. That doesn't happen with the Mayped gray putty erasers. Tortolans I'm using just to smooth out. And then back with uh, the putty eraser because there's highlights on there and there's lighter areas in the pattern as well and I'm trying to get a feeling of um, a fluted effect on the petal. So back with the pointed tip eraser you can keep going back you can take out you can go back in you can use the pointed tip eraser as I am here to add a little detail And if I felt that that wasn't right, I could just use a um, cotton wool pad and then go over it, or I could use a tortolan. Uh, if I wanted to use a pencil for more detail, I could do that. So here again is the photograph. So you can see a little bit more of the light areas that I'm trying to get there. And that's the finished section. And now we come up to the other pansy that I drew uh, before for my exhibition, Nature's Patterns.
I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.